You see this? That whole screen. I'm in about 11 feet of water, the bottom foot and a half of solid fish. Keeps bouncing around 8.1 to 11. Good, free fall. Just going right down. See it show up on the markham. And there's the fish. I was watching it. Hey guys, just about ready to hit the water. Today my main goal is to get a couple pan fish and check out some early ice fishing spots on this uh, little body of water. It's about 45 degrees and windy. What do, we, uh, what do you do when it's been raining and windy the whole time? I'm uh, gonna give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. Got my ice fishing gear today. Hope I can jig a few panfish. Why not late fall if they're gonna bite like that early uh, winter? Sorry guys, I wasn't paying attention. Um, I jigged up a crappie. I think I found myself a little honey hole. Look at that. I'm just using a 13 fishing jig and my tickle stick and free fall. And I got myself a crappie ready. The problem is I'm in the wind. I'm gonna set up and I'm gonna jig in that spot. I can tie off to a tree. Okay guys, I'm in the wind and I'm drifting, but if you can see here on my graph, I found a school of crappies. Let's see if I can find my jig here. There you go. Here comes my jig. No, nope, where are we at? Yeah, that's my jig. A little difficult in a kayak to do this. Why not move in here? There you go. Dropping that little school of crappies. Wait for a bite. I got another one. Hoping this is a school of crappies. Oh, it's a sunfish. I don't have my hat cam on today, but. Yes, that's that sunfish. Well, this is going to be a hoot today. Nothing wrong with that stubby little guy. I can't believe I've never done this before. They're nibbling at it. Whatever that was last time. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's what they do. They get caught up in the transducer. Just like the winter time. Another panty. Gotta be careful I don't lose anything over the side today. On the ice, you can just flop them down. That's a nice eater sized panfish though. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna eat some panfish. That one I got off was a nice one, so I'll have to see if he's still down there, if it was a bass or what the deal was. my jig down here. I know there's fish in the area. I don't think I'm drifting. Oh, there we go. Wasn't paying attention. Full of bass. Oh yeah, that's all the fish down here. Nice little largey. Little guy. See also down there. I think I found a little honey hole to hit this winter. This graph. You guys can see that bottom three, four feet. Getting solid fish. They're pretty much schooling under me. 
Oh, yeah, there we go. I don't know if you can see my tickle stick going like crazy. I got my rope over here, got my transducer. Get out of there. Oh, 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 oh. That's a nice big hand fish. I might have to measure him. Push nine, maybe? That's a beautiful bluegill. I'll take a picture of you real quick. There we go. That looks like it's gonna be a dinner. Yeah, nice, nice panfish. Look at that. I mean, those are close to nine inches. That's a good eating size. Nice iridescent scales. There you go. That one wanted it. You come right up. Not quite big enough though. I think like them small ones are sometimes a little more aggressive. Sure fun to catch. Got my super ultra light tickle stick. And man, is it sensitive. There you go. Yep. Oh yeah. That might not be a panfish, it might be a bass. The way it's running, looks like a bass. Not very big, but these ultra, super ultra light. Pull a little drag, light line, some fluorocarbon. I was actually going to take a break from bass fishing today. That's not possible, is it? They're not, not big hanging out with a panfish, but I have no idea if they get any size in this lake. The lake is really small. And I thought I could get out of the wind, and I, I kind of did. I'm a little bit in the wind. Tree. I wouldn't wouldn't be in this spot without the stump in the lake, which is a good good deal because it gives me something to uh, to structure and give me something to tie off to. Oh, one fish again. These are way higher. I thought maybe that'd be a crappie. I'll give you one guess what I'm using at the beginning of the ice fishing season. we go. The school's back in. It might be a better one. A little bit better. I think they're eater size. Sorry. There we go. Tell you, if I wasn't tied to a tree today, this wind would make it impossible. They're bass. What are you doing suspended? I don't know if you can see the waves in the background. I'm in a kayak, trying to fish a cone angle on a tickle stick. It's uh, the wind just picked up again. I'm hoping it dies down because I want to tie another location, but if I don't have a tree to tie off to, I can't. There you go. That feels like a that feels like a better one. A little drag going. Bass? Going out there. Yeah, there we go. Get that drag going. What are you? Super Alt Sword is going to its limits. Not big, but you're the biggest of the day. I 
at that. Nice little chunk. Okay, I want to school a fish here. Get another bite here. Oh. Definitely down there. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, see that hit? There we go. Last one was nine. This one is going to be another little bass. Another little bass. Look at that little largy. This is so much fun. Oh yeah, coming up off the bottom. Watch that rod. Oh man, this is awesome. This is a better one. What is it? The way it's going is... There's another bass. I should just get this out of the way. A little honey hole here. A little bit of a honey hole. There we go. Fish on. Feels better. Figures. It's gotta be just a ton of bass in here. Not complaining, but to get like a three pounder on this thing would be amazing. Maybe we got something. Probably another bass. Oh, there's a big, oh, it's pulling drag. Probably bass. It's oh, a big one. Yeah, come around in a circle, maybe it's a big panfish. Oh, that'd be cool. No, it looks long. That's a nice bass. When I say nice, nice for our, this little setup. If I was bass fishing, maybe it's half pound, but that's not what I would target for bass. I got a new spot. Oh, nice, little sunny. Problem is, I can't stay in these spots without roping off somewhere. So I might have to do some paddling. Let's see if I can't pick up just a few more for, for dinner. I thought it's more bait than anything. There we go. Yeah, happy. Nice happy. I can't have a here. Oh, that was a tough man fish. Just looking for new areas here in out of the wind. Not easy, but I think I've found two crappie holes so far. Okay guys, I am freaking cold. The wind is like 20 miles an hour. Uh, not ideal conditions for a kayak when it's 40-ish degrees right now. Uh, I got about 25, 30 fish. The trick was 10, 12 feet of water and trying to jig out of a kayak. Uh, the tree really helped. I got my biggest crappie paddling and free floating, fighting the, a little bit of, there's no out of the wind. But, uh, clean this off a little bit. Let's take a look at the fish, too, that I'm going to clean. There's my Markham. There's my Black Betty Free Fall Tickle Stick. My wet phone. Yeah. I mean, there's some, there's some straight up nice bluegills in there. The biggest crappie is probably 11, 12 inches, and the biggest bluegill is just over 9. So... I will uh, finish this up with a deep fryer. See you then.